हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू वीडियो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ ट्रिप्टोफैन ट्रिप्टोफैन डिग्रेडेशन कैन बी टेक प्लेस बाय टू पाथवेज फर्स्ट वन का इन्यूरोन पाथवे एंड सेकेंड इज सेरोटोन पाथवे सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन द काइन्यूरोन पाथवे सो इन दिस पाथवे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्रिप्टोफैन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ ट्रिप्टोफैन ऑक्सीजनीज गिव राइज टू एन फोर माइल काइन्यूरोन हेयर वॉट हैपन्स इज दिस ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल कम्स एंड ब्रेक्स दिस बॉन्ड हेयर that is this ch2 and this ch this ch and this ch bond is broken and um this one of the oxygen of this o2 molecule attaches with this carbon and forms a double bond o there the second atom of oxygen atta attaches with this carbon and forms a double bond o there this this bond is shown here and this bond is shown here this n formal kinyurin is formed this n formal kinyurin then in presence of formaldehyde enzyme it's converted to kinyurin here formate is released this cho along with an oh group of this h2o molecule gets released as formate then the remaining hydrogen of water molecule attaches with this nitrogen and forms nh2 there this kinyurin is formed this kinyurin can give rise to kinyurinate and tranylate etc through other pathways but in this pathway this kinyurin in presence of kinyurin hydroxylase gets converted to 3 hydroxy kinyurin here nadph2 donates two hydrogen and oxygen to oxygen molecule donates two oxygen atoms so one of the hydrogen of nadph2 along with one of the oxygen of oxygen molecule joins here that is to this carbon to this carbon and forms an oh group there then the remaining hydrogen of nadph along with the remaining oxygen of o2 molecule and also with the hydrogen already present in this carbon joins to form h2o molecule and releases water so there was uh, there is an hydrogen present already here and that hydrogen along with the remaining oxygen and along with the um, nadph hydrogen release as water molecule this kinu uh, this 3 hydroxy kinyurin is formed this 3 hydroxy kinyurin can give rise to xanthonate through another pathway but here this 3 uh, hydroxy kinyurin then in presence of kinyurinase gets converted to 3 hydroxy and tranylate here release of alanine occurs that is in presence of water this bond breaks here and one of the hydrogen of water molecule attaches with the ch2 to form ch3 and gets released as alanine then the remaining oh group of water molecule attaches with this carbon and forms oh that is coh group there that is shown here this 3 hydroxy antranylate is formed the 3 hydroxy antranylate thus formed then in presence of 3 hydroxy antranylate oxidase gets converted to 2 amino 3 carboxy mucinate semi aldehyde here oxygen molecule comes and breaks this double bond here then one of the atom of oxygen attaches with this carbon and forms a double bond the next atom attaches this carbon and forms a double bond there thus the coh group and this then the cho group is formed and this is 2 amino 3 carboxy mucinate semi aldehyde this can give rise to picolinate through another pathway but here uh, this 2 amino 3 carboxy mucinate semi aldehyde can uh, can can diverge into two pathways that is one for the production of nicotin mo nicotinate mononucleotide and another for the production of acetyl coa so first of all we will look into this uh, here uh, this 2 amino 3 carboxy mucinate semi aldehyde spontaneously give out water to form quinolinate what happens here is um this hydrogen that is one of the hydrogen of this nh2 group along with the um oh that is this o and this hydrogen of uh, this aldehyde group gets released as water then this nitrogen forms bond with this carbon and forms this bond here this double bond here to uh, to maintain valency they form a double bond there so first of all one of the hydrogen from this nh2 releases and this oxygen and this hydrogen releases and and these three along release as h2o molecule then this nitrogen combines with this carbon to form a double bond there and forms this quinolinate if you look here um, this much portion remains the same this much portion remains the same here 
what happens is this nitrogen this this bond is shown here 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 then this nitrogen combines with this this carbon that is this bond and this bond uh, the coh attached to this carbon is shown here and this is the structure of quinolinate this quinolinate then in presence of quinolinate phosphoribosyl transferase forms nicotinate mononucleotide what happens here is this nitrogen attaches to this carbon of um, phosphoribosyl to form this bond that is two p that is the two uh, pi the pyrophosphate bond gets released as ppi and this um, nitrogen attaches to the phosphoribosyl group of this uh, phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate to this carbon and nicotinate mononucleotide is formed then now let us move on to the next part next um, diversion that is uh, 2-amino 3-carboxy mucronate semialdehyde giving rise to acetyl coil here uh, in presence of decarboxylase enzyme 2-amino mucronic semialdehyde is formed here CO2 gets released from this COH group and this hydrogen attaches with this carbon and maintain the valency there so uh, this 2 amino mucronic semi aldehyde is formed it can give rise to picolinate through another pathway now this 2 amino mucronic semi aldehyde that in presence of aldehyde dehydrogenase forms amino mucronate what happens here is um, 2 hydrogen gets released that is 2 uh, hydrogen gets removed and also addition of water molecule occurs here this hydrogen along with the hydrogen of water molecule gets released with NAD plus as NADH2 then the remaining OH group of water molecule attaches with this carbon to form an OH group this amino mucronate is formed this amino mucronate then in presence of reductase enzyme forms oxo and oxoadipate here NH3 molecule gets released what happens here is this NH2 along with the um, hydrogen of water molecule gets released as NH3 then um, one of the hydrogen of uh, this NADPH gets attaches with here then then the remaining hydrogen attaches here the remaining hydrogen of water attaches here and the oxygen of water attaches here as a double bond in this carbon and it is shown uh, and it is um, shown in this structural form so this COH is shown here this C double bond O is shown here this CH2 is shown here this CH2 is shown here this CH2 is shown here and this COH is, COH is shown here this oxoadipate is formed the oxoadipate thus formed then in presence of dehydrogenase enzyme forms glutaryl coe here this CO group of CO is releases as CO2 then this hydrogen along with the hydrogen of CoE SH leaves with NAD plus as NADH2 then this S CoE joins with this carbon and forms a bond here and it is shown here this is glutaryl CoE this glutaryl CoE then in presence of dehydrogenase enzyme forms protonyl CoE here two um, hydrogen gets released and also CO2 gets released that is this COO of COH gets released with um, as CO2 molecule and then this um, hydrogen along with one of the hydrogen of this CH2 releases with NAD plus as NADH2 and forms a double bond in between this hydrogen joins with this CH2 to form CH3 there that is shown here this is crotonyl CoA this crotonyl coe then in presence of hydratase enzyme forms 3 hydroxy butanyl coe here addition of water molecule occurs the oh group of water molecule joins with this carbon to form oh there and the hydrogen of water molecule attaches with this carbon to form ch2 there thus 3 hydroxy butanyl coe is formed this 3 hydroxy butanyl coe then in presence of dehydrogenase enzyme form acetoacetyl coe here NAD plus actase coenzyme the removal of two hydrogen atoms occurs so this hydrogen and this hydrogen removes with 
this NAD plus this NADH2 and a double bond will result in between this carbon and this oxygen that is shown here. This is acetoacetyl CoA. This acetoacetyl CoA then in presence of CoA acids and lies in sun gets split into acetyl CoA that is two molecules of acetyl CoA. What happens here is this bond between uh, these two carbon atoms break and this S-CoA attaches with this carbon to form a single acetyl CoA then the remaining hydrogen of this CoA acid attaches with the CS2 to form CS3 and forms another acetyl CoA molecule. This is all about the kinurinine pathway of degradation of tryptophan.